Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to use your uh, taskbar in Windows 7. Uh, I see a lot of people that don't have any idea how the taskbar work in Windows 7. So in this video it's more for the beginner beginner users. Uh, just how to use the full potential of your taskbar. Uh, as you can see when in Windows 7 it's a completely completely new taskbar. Uh, what happened is you can stack same type of a folder files in your taskbar. So, for example, you have multiple uh, Notepad file open. Well, it's all stacking. Uh, what's cool about the new taskbar is that let's say you right click on your Windows Explorer, you can see uh, the most frequently used uh, file or folder. Uh, for example, here it's the folders. So, as you can see, I created two folders, two demo folders. Uh, learn and go one, learn and go two. So, what I did before the video, I just click multiple time on them. So now Windows thing, it's it's like my favorite folders on my computer, and I did the same thing with the file. I opened them a couple times. So. What you can do after that is, for example, let's say learn and go on. You you use this folder like twenty times in a day, thirty times. So you need a uh, fast access to this file. But right now it's on my desktop, but it could be in uh, on my hard drive somewhere else. So what you can do is you right click on your taskbar folder, uh, Windows Explorer folder, and as you can see here, I have learn and go on so what you can do is click right here there on the little pin it's there's a, a text box pin to this list you do it and then the folder is going up in the pinned section you can do the same thing when learn and go to so what happened after is that you you can right click on your window explorer taskbar and it's always there so it's a quick access to this folder so just to show you f I could just you know the the place where's my uh, where's my folder so let's say I drop them on my hard drive so as you can see they're still there the two folders are still there click on learn and go on I have a quick access to it that's the the good part about the new taskbar. I can do the same thing with a file. Here, for example, I would take a, I will take a Notepad file, but you could take a Word, Excel, PowerPoint file, a picture, anything. Uh, as you can see here, the Windows know I use this, those two files a lot. So I will do the same thing. You just click on pin to this list. So right now it's they will always be there it's like a favorite list and then i just need to do a right click text file one I can s write something else blah blah then i can come back and it's still there it's a quick access to your favorite files or folder and of course you not if you don't know yet y you can pin anything on the new taskbar so you can let's say for example calculator I do a right click pin to taskbar I have a new icon here we go so down there you can pin any application but you will not be able to pin a file so let's say I go back to my learn and go folder here I have a notepad file as you can see I, I can I'm not able to pin it on my taskbar it's only for application the best I can do is as you saw a minute ago you can just pin them right there and also you can remove your what you just pinned there so you can remove this folder then I can pin it again so it's a really nice it's a new feature in Windows 7 it's really nice to know how to use it and I hope you guys learned something in this video and uh, don't forget to visit my website learnandgo.com and my YouTube channel learnandgo. See you another time guys.